Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rational number operations. This is standard 7.3a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 of the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a year on Venus equal to 224 and 7 tenths day on Earth. So how many days on Earth in decimal form are equivalent to nine and a half years? Okay, so I'm just going to draw a year right here. So that's one year, and that's worth 224.7 days. So another year is going to be another 224.7. All right, so I'm just going to keep drawing these years here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to just kind of draw this little arrow saying, all right, that 224.7 lands in each one of these. Then I've got a little ninth a tenth one that's kind of just half, right? It's just half of of that because it's not the full 224.7. So what am I looking for? Well, you see here, I've got a strip diagram. I have nine and a half sets of years, and each of these years includes 224.7. So seems to me like we've got a multiplication problem because I'm looking at nine and a half groups of 224.7. Or I can just add up 224.7 nine times, but then I'm still have to figure out what half of that is. So multiplication is going to probably be the simpler operation. So 224.7, nine and a half can't really multiply a mixed number, but nine and a half we need to know it's the same as 9 and 5 tenths, right? Those are equivalent fractions, 1 half 5 tenths, because I can put 0.5, 5 tenths, there we go. I can show that in decimal form. So when we multiply, we're going to multiply by hand, we're going to ignore the decimals at this point. So just pretend it's 2247 times 95. That's all we need to know. We'll bring back the decimals at the end. So 7 times 5 is 35, carry that 3, 5 times 4 is 20, and then we're going to add the 3 back in, that's 2, 5 times 2 is 10, add that 2 back in, 12, so let's carry that 1, that's 10, that's 11, alright, so first row is done, second row 9 is in the 10's place, so we're going to put a 0 in the 1's place, so 9 times 7 is 63. Let's carry that 6. 9 times 4 is 36. Add the 6 is 42. 9 times 2 is 18. Add the 4, 22. That's another 18. But we're going to add 2 this time and get 20. All right, so let's add this. Then we'll bring our decimals back in. 3, 1, 2. All right. So how many digits do we have behind the decimals in our factors? I've got 1, I've got 2, which means I need 2 digits behind the decimal in my product. So it's going to be 2,134 and 6,500. Random number, but it's supposed to be a random number. Now, all of this could go wrong if we don't bubble it in correctly. So let's take a look at our answer document. There is no F, G, H, or J for us to choose from. So your answer document is going to have a very long, skinny column that's kind of off-centered. That is your decimal. You can't do anything with that column. There's no bubbles underneath it. There are two digits under, on to the right of the decimal. We have four digits to the left, and we are going to use every single one of these columns. So anchoring on that decimal, we've got a 65 hundredths. Whole numbers, 2,100. 34. And obviously we bubble in the correct uh, numbers underneath and that's our answer.